As we think about preparing for the high holidays, we are mindful of famed UCLA coach John Wooden's admonition that failure to prepare is preparing to fail. For anything in our lives that is important, matters, is worth doing, if we don't prepare, we are not fully capable of being as present and as successful when we reach our goals. The same thing is true of the high holidays. The experience of the high holidays, if we are truly to embrace tshuva, return, if we are truly to embrace a heshbon nefesh, an accounting of our soul, requires that we prepare well before the sounding of the shofar on Rosh Hashanah. Within our tradition, the entire month before the high holidays, the month of Elul, is a time of preparation. We hopefully begin that process of considering our place in the world, our place at this moment in our lives, the year that was, envisioning the year to come, and truly opening ourselves to an honest evaluation of who we are, what we're doing, and who we can be for other people. And so well before we gather together for our big annual Jewish family reunion of Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, I hope you will embrace the opportunity through reading and reflection and prayer to truly prepare for the High Holidays so that when they come upon us, we are able to bring the best and the most of ourselves to this sacred moment.